For this project, any Category 4 yarn will work, but I used a skein and a quarter of Lion Brand's Pound of Love in the color taupe. As for tools, a 5 and a 6mm hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There's a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. Watch the end of the video to learn how to enter this week's giveaway. We're using 6 stitches for this project and they will be as follows. Chain Slip stitch Single crochet Half double crochet Double crochet Treble crochet and double treble crochet. This tutorial is for a size small, but you can adjust it for your size and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting these sweats started, we're first going to grab our category 4 yarn and make a slip knot. Next we're going to grab our 5mm hook and start off by making a chain that we want the height of our waistband to be. I want my waistband to be about 2.5 inches or 7 centimeters, so I'm going to start off by making a chain of 12. Now that we have our chain, we are going to block off that last chain, do a chain up of 1, and then into that chain that we blocked off, or the second chain from our hook, we're going to go in with a single crochet. So we're just going to insert, yarn over, pull through that loop, yarn over, pull through 2. Let's do the next single crochet together. Into that next chain, we're going to insert our hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through 2 and go ahead and put one single crochet into every chain that we have. Now that we've put one single crochet into every chain that we had, what we're going to do from here is do a chain up of one and flip our work. And now we're going to go in with a bunch of back loop slip stitches. So how that's going to work is we're going to insert our hook into that first back loop. We're going to yarn over and then just pull through everything that's on our hook. Let's do the next one together. Insert your hook into that next back loop, yarn over, and pull through everything. We're going to keep doing this going all the way down. And this is actually going to be our waistband, so once we get to the end, we're going to do a chin up of one, flip our work, and then work our way back down with more back loop slip stitches. And we're going to keep going back and forth like this until we get the length of our waistband that can fit around the widest part of our hips. And also keeping in mind that once when we are finished, this does need to end on an even number. But go ahead and do all that. I'll meet you guys back so I can let you guys know how many rows I ended up with and my measurements as well. And also don't forget that all of these rows will have some stretch to it, so when you guys are putting it up to yourselves, make sure you guys are stretching it just as if you were wearing it. So we're back, and I have just finished up going in with my waistband. And I ended up having a total of 136 rows, or that came out to 19 inches or 48 centimeters. And that is unstretched. But once when we have all this finished up, now we can seam up the two ends that we have together to close this up. Okay, so please don't mind this watchful waistband, but I can't find the clip on how to seam it up, so here we are. But it'll all be done up the same way no matter what size we have, so let's get started on the seaming together. Since my hook is already into this corner, what we're going to do is insert our hook into the back panel's corner loop, yarn over, and pull through everything with a slip stitch. And now we're just going to insert our hook into the first available loop into the front panel, and into the next available loop into the back panel, and single crochet. Let's do one more together, next available loop into the front panel, next available loop into the back panel, and single crochet. So go ahead and do this going all the way down and I'll meet you guys back. We've just finished up going in with our side seam for our waistband and now we're going to go in with a row of single crochet into every side slip stitch row that we have for our waistband. So all that's going to be is do a chain up of one and then we're also going to flip our work right side out. So this seam will be along the inside. So go ahead and flip, this is what it should look like. And then we're just going to go in with a row of single crochet. So we're just going to do the first few together, there's not going to be any real loops for us to go into, so we're just going to have to find the prettiest one that we can find. So into this first row that we have, we're going to insert our hook into the loop that's right on top, and we're going to single crochet. My next row is this divot right here, we're going to insert our hook into there, and then single crochet. And then my next one is this raised side slip stitch row, so find that top loop and single crochet into there. Then work your way all the way around, putting one single crochet into each side slip stitch row. Once we make our way all the way around to this end, we're going to slip stitch into that chain up of one that we left ourselves, and then I'll meet you guys back so we can get started on our cables. 
So we have just made our way all the way around with our single crochets. We have slip stitched into that chain up of one space and now we are all going to get started on our cabling together. So this part is going to be the same for everyone. We are all going to start off by doing a chain up of one. And we're going to make sure that our work is still flipped right side out. And into the next 15 stitches we're going to go in with 15 half double crochets. So once we have our chain up of one we're actually going to be doing one more. So a chain up of two. Prepare for a half double crochet and put one half double crochet into that next stitch. So go ahead and insert your hook, yarn over, pull through. We should have three loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops and keep doing that until we have a total of 15. So now that we've gone all the way down with our first row of half double crochets, we're actually going to be doing one more because we need to start our cables along this side. So all we're going to do is start off by doing a chain up of two, flip our work and then put one half double into every stitch and then I'll meet you guys back at this end. Now getting started on the cable details, we're going to be doing three separate cables. So we're going to do the first one together which is a little bit easier. So we're all going to start off by doing a chain up of two. Once we have our chain up of two, then we're going to be doing two front post treble crochets while skipping this first post that we have into this first half double crochet row. So all that is, is we're going to yarn over twice. We're going to skip this first post that we have right here, not counting this one at the edge. So we're going to skip this first one and insert our hook into the post right after that. So go ahead and insert your hook behind that post and then bring it through the other side just like that. And then we're going to yarn over pull through. We should have four loops on our hook and from here we're going to do a treble crochet just like normal. So we're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. That is our first front post treble crochet and we're going to be doing one more into the stitch right after that. So let's do that together. We're going to yarn over twice, insert our hook into the post that we have right after the first one that we did, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. And we have just one more stitch left to do for this first cable and it's going to be another front post treble but we're going to go back into that first post that we skipped. So just like before, yarn over twice. And then we're going to bring our hook over to this first stitch that we skipped. And then bring it through the other side, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. And this is our first cable all finished up. And in between each of our cable sections we are going to have a post that just goes straight up to separate them and that is going to be another regular front post treble crochet so we're going to yarn over twice. And then into that next post that we have we're just going to go into that post so this is going to be a straight up and down post. So go ahead and insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and that is our separator. So getting started on our second cable, this one is going to be just a little bit bigger, but we've done it a couple times on the channel already, so let's get this started. What we're going to do is start off by doing two front post double trebles. So instead of just doing a yarn over of two, like how we just did, we're going to yarn over three times. So here's one, two, three, and from here we're going to be skipping the next two posts that we made into the first half double crochet row. So this is where our last front post double was. We're going to be skipping one, skipping two, and then going behind that next post. So we're going to insert our hook behind there, yarn over, pull through that post, and then from here we're going to finish this off just like as if we were doing a front post treble. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, there's just two extra loops, so yarn over and pull through two. And this section is worked in sets of two, so we're actually going to be doing one more front post double treble into the post that's right after that, exactly the same thing that we just did. So go ahead and yarn over one, two, and three times. Insert your hook into that post, that's right after the one that we just went into. Yarn over, pull through that post. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And then last bit, yarn over and pull through two. And this is the first set. So we're going to be doing another set of front post double trebles, but we're going to bring it back to the ones that we skipped. So let's do that together as well. We're going to yarn over one, two, and three times. And then go into that first post that we skipped, that's right next to this dividing front post treble. Insert our hook into there, yarn over, pull through, pull through two, 
pull through two, pull through two, and then pull through those last two. And then we're gonna be doing one more into the post that is left. So to go ahead and yarn over three times into that one empty post that we have in between. Yarn over, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, two and two and this is our cross for our second cable but we're not quite done yet we have to do another set of two front post trebles so since these two are going to be straight up and down they don't need to travel too much so we're just going to be doing front post trebles instead of double trebles so we're just going to yarn over twice and then into that next post we're going to go in with one front post treble so pull through two 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 and then into that next one as well. Insert, pull through, pull through two, two, and two. And this is our second cable all finished up. This is the bigger one, and we do still need to do the divider that we're gonna have, and that's actually gonna be another front post treble. So it's just gonna look like we have three of them right next to each other, but if you guys want, which is what I'm gonna do, is go ahead and insert a stitch marker just into this divider so I know which one's which, and then we can do our last cable together. All right, so I now have my stitch markers into place just so I know which posts are our dividing posts because that is always gonna maintain as a regular front post treble. But we are gonna go in with our last cable together which is exactly the same as the first one that we did over here. So to get that started, we're going to start off with doing a yarn over of two because this is a set of two front post treble crochets. We're gonna be skipping this next post and going into the one right after that with a regular front post treble. And then we have one more to do right after that. So yarn over twice into that next post, which should be our second to last post. And then once when we have this one, we have one more front post to do. And that is going to be worked back into that one post that we skipped right here. So yarn over twice into that last post, pull through, pull through two, two, and two. Once when we have that, we are now done with our first row of cables. So we're going to close this off by doing a half double crochet into that last stitch that we have into this corner, just so that our cable section isn't flip flopping all over the place. Well, once when we have this, we're going to do a chain up of one, flip our work, and then just work our way all the way back down with a row of single crochets, putting one into every stitch that we have. And then going into our second row of our cabling, the two outside ones are going to remain the same. So we're mainly just gonna be working on the bigger middle one. So I'll work my way back. We will quickly go through this first one and then we'll go through the second one and then we can move on from there. Perfect, so we have just worked our way down with our single crochet row and now we're gonna get started on our second row when it comes to our cabling. So we're going to start off by doing a chain up of two and flip our work and now we're gonna go in with our first cable which is our smaller one. It's gonna be exactly the same way that we did the first one. So really quickly, we're going to yarn over twice and now we're working into all of our front post treble and front post double treble posts that we did in the previous row. So this is gonna be just a little bit easier to figure out, but it's gonna be the same premise. So what we're gonna do is still skip this first post and then insert our first front post treble into the second post that we have right here. So yarn over, pull through, pull through two, two and two. And then we have just one more to go into, into the one right after that. To finish off this set, pull through, pull through two, two, and two. And then to close off this cable, we're just gonna be doing one more front post treble, but we're gonna go back into that post that we skipped. So we're gonna yarn over twice, into that post, pull through, pull through two, two, and two. Once we have that, we are now at our divider. So this is going to be another regular front post treble that just goes straight up and down. So we're gonna yarn over twice, go into that dividing post, pull through, pull through two, two, and two. And now we are at our middle cable, which is a little bit bigger and just a little bit different. So what we're going to start off with doing into this section is going in with two front post trebles into these two posts that we have. So we're going to yarn over twice into this first post that's right after the divider. We're gonna insert our hook behind there, yarn over, pull through, pull through two, two, and two. We're gonna be doing one more because remember this middle section is done in sets of two. So yarn over twice into that next post, pull through, pull through two, two, and two. And we have two more sets of posts to go into. 
So for this next part, we're going to go in with more front post double trebles, but we're going to be skipping these two middle posts and going into the two right after that. So yarn over one, two, three times, skip these two, and then go into this post that we have back here. Pull through, pull through two, 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 and two. And then we have one more to do into that last post. Yarn over one, two, three times, go into that post. Yarn over, pull through, pull through, two, pull through two, two, and two. Now, for this next part, this is going to be done with front post double trebles again, but we are going to need to take our work that we just made and then pull it down just a little bit because the post that we're going to be working into, it needs to go underneath the two front post double trebles that we just made so that we can get a nice crisscrossing effect. So what we're going to do is yarn over one, two, three times. We're going to hold down our working yarn onto our hook because it can definitely fall off. What we're going to do from here is just take our work and then just pull it down and try to identify where our last two posts are. And they are right here and right here. So what we're going to do is take our hook back and then insert it into that first post that we have that is empty and then we're going to finish off our front post double treble like normal. So yarn over, pull through that post, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and we should have just this next set left, yarn over, pull through two, and we have just one more of these to do so let's do that together. Yarn over one, two, three times, pull down our working yarn, pull our work down, and then insert our hook into that last post that we have. So we're going to yarn over, pull through that post, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, and pull through two. Once we have that, we are now all finished with our second cable row. And once we have that finished off, we are now at our divider. So this is pretty simple. Just do a regular front post treble, so yarn over twice, go into that dividing post with a regular front post treble. And then just to close this off, we're going to be doing one more of our smaller cables. So we're going to yarn over twice, go into that second post that we have, because remember, we're skipping the first one. Yarn over, pull through, pull through two, two, and two, and we have one more to go into, into the set right after that. Yarn over twice into this next post, pull through, pull through two, 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 and then our last one is that one that we skipped, pull through, pull through two, two, and two. Once we have that, just to close off our cable row, we're going to prepare for a half double crochet, and then put one half double into that last stitch that we have into this row. And then from here, go ahead and put one single crochet into every stitch, going all the way down. So we're back, and this is what our work should be looking like. We should have a total of six rows. Our first two rows were our first half double crochet rows. Our third was our first cable stitch row. Fourth was our single crochet row. Fifth was our second row of cable stitches. And sixth is our single crochet rows. And from here, we're just going to keep repeating rows three through six until we get the length of the pants that we want keeping in mind that we will have a bottom cuff as well. So I'm just going to quickly talk you guys through the next two cable rows, and then I'll let you guys move on from there. So we just finished up going in with our sixth row, which was a single crochet row. So we're going to do a chain of two and flip our work. The first cable that we're doing is this smaller cable. So we're going to do a front post treble into the second post that we have, and also another front post treble into that third post. And then to finish off this first cable, we're going to do another front post treble, but working our way back into that first skipped post that we have. And that is our first cable all finished up. Next, we have our divider. So we're going to do another front post treble, but this just goes straight up and down. And now we are at our bigger cable, which is in the middle. So now we're going to repeat row three that we just did. So we're going to start off by doing a front post double treble. So we're going to yarn over three times. We're going to skip over these first two posts and then go into the third and fourth post that we have. So go ahead and insert your hook, pull through, 
and then finish off your front post double treble. And then we have one more to do since they are worked in sets of two. So that goes into the one right after that. So yarn over three times and do your front post double treble into there. There we are. And then we're going to do another front post treble going into those two posts that we just skipped. So yarn over three times, bring it on back to that first post that we skipped and do our first front post treble into there. And then to finish off this set, one more front post double treble into that last post that we have in between those two sets. And then to finish off this bigger cable into these last posts, you guys may need to separate your work a little bit because it may overlap, but they're there, I promise. We're going to go in with a set of front post trebles. So yarn over twice, go into that second to last post that we have into this cable section with a front post treble, yarn over twice, and then do the last one. And that is that. Now we are at our dividing cable. So yarn over twice, and this is always going to be a regular front post treble. And we have our big cable all finished up. And now to close off with our small one, which is the same as the first. So we're going to start off by doing a yarn over of two, skipping that first post and then going into the second post that we have into this section. Now that we have that guy, we have just one more to do that doesn't cross over, which should be our last post or second to last. I'm sorry. And then from here, we're going to do one more front post treble into that post that we skipped. And to close off this cable row, we're just going to go in with a half double crochet into that last stitch in the previous row. And then from here, do a chain up of one, flip our work, and then single crochet all the way down. We'll do the next cable row together, and then we will move on from there. All right, so our single crochet row is all finished up. We are now about to go into our second cable row for the section that we started off with. So do a chain up of two and flip our work and let's get started. So the first cable is going to always be the same. So yarn over twice, skip that first post, go into the post right after that with a front post treble. Going to do the same thing into that next post. So yarn over twice and go in with another front post treble and then prepare for another front post treble and then work our way into that first skipped post that we did. Now we are at our divider. So from here, we're going to yarn over twice and then just go in with a front post treble. Now going into our bigger cable section, we are going to start off by doing another set of front post trebles. So it's going to be a bunch of them right next to each other. We're going to yarn over twice, go into that first post with a front post treble. And this is worked in sets of two. So we're going to be doing one more into that next post. And then we're going to prepare for a front post double treble. So yarn over three times, skip these two middle posts because we'll get back to that in a second and go into the two last posts that we have for this big cable with a set of two front post double trebles. So there's my first one. We're going to do one more. So yarn over three times, go into that last post that we have into this cable section and close off that front post double treble. Now we're going to do another front post double treble going into those posts that we skipped, but we're going to need to go underneath. So we're going to yarn over one, two, three times. Make sure we're holding on to our work that's on our hook. We're going to pull our current work down and then we're going to insert our hook into that first post that we skipped. Yarn over, pull through, pull through two, 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 and two. And we have just one more to do. So yarn over, three times, pull our work down again. This next one should be a little bit easier to go into. Yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, 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 and two. And then once we have this, we are all finished up with our big cable. So now we're at the divider. This is always going to be a regular front post treble. So just yarn over twice and go into there. And we're going to close this off with a small cable, just like how we've been doing. So we're going to yarn over one, two times, skip that first post, go into that next post, pull through, pull through two, two, and two. And we have another to do for this cable. So pull through two, 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 and two. 
And this last one is going to be into the skipped post. So we're going to yarn over twice, go into that last post, pull through, pull through two, two, and two. And to close off this row, we are going to yarn over, go into that last loop into that previous row, go in with a half double crochet. Whew. Okay, so once we have all that finished up, we are going to go all the way down with a single crochet row and just keep repeating rows three through six until we get the length that we want for our pants. I will meet you guys back once when I have all of my rows all finished up so that we can move on from there. All right, so we are back and I have just finished up going in with the entirety of the length that I need for one side of my cable stitches. And I did end up having a total of 97 rows and this also comes out to a total from where we started, right where the bottom of our waistband is, all the way down to where I have cut and tied. I have a total of 29 inches or 74 centimeters, but once we have all this finished up, I will show you guys where to insert your stitch markers and where to start off your next cable, and then I'll just let you guys go from there. So now that we have this cable stitch section all finished up, we're going to need to do the same thing that we did here on the other side. We just need to make sure that we're placing it in the right spot. So the easiest way how to do this is first by finding out the middle point that we have right in between where we have our single crochet section. So from the edge of this cable stitch, count the amount of loops over to the other edge of the other side of our cable stitch down here. And then we're going to insert our stitch marker into that middle stitch. There's actually going to be two of them since we did end on an even number. So all we're going to do is count that stitch and then count out eight in one direction, insert this stitch marker and count out eight in the other direction insert that stitch marker and we should have a total of 16 stitches in between and this is going to be where we have our next cable stitch section. We just want to make sure that we have the same amount of stitches on both sides from the front to the back so just make sure that they are all even but once we have that sectioned off I'm just going to show you guys how we're going to start this off and then it's basically just going to be a repeat of this section so I'll let you guys go after that. So getting started on our next cable stitch section what we are going to do is first make sure that our work is still flipped right side out and then what we're going to do is insert our hook into this stitch marker. We're going to take the stitch marker out, insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, and we're going to start off by doing a chain up of two because remember we're going to start off with doing two rows of half double crochets. So do our chain up of two and then from there put one half double crochet into every stitch that we have until we hit our next stitch marker. Once we hit the edge of that, do a chain up of two, flip our work, and then work our way back down with more half double crochets. And then from there, go ahead and repeat the same sequence that we did for the other side. So just repeat rows three through six. And I'll meet you guys back once we have the same amount of rows that we have along this side so we can get started on the body of the pant. So this is what things are looking like once we have both of our cable stitch sections all finished up. And now we can get started on the pant section. So the first thing we're going to have to do is indicate where the two middle stitches are that we're going to have in between our two cable sections. And once we figure that out, we're going to want to put them into the front and into the back panels because they should be the same. Just like before, we should have two middle loops and mine, if you guys are doing my numbers, I inserted my stitch marker into the 26th and 27th loop. But once when we have figured that out, now we can get started along the length of our pant leg, which is fairly easy. We're first going to pick one of the sides that we're going to start working on. I will be inserting my hook into this side right here. And I'm going to insert my hook into this corner loop. So inserting my 6 millimeter hook into this corner loop, what we're going to do from here is insert our yarn onto our hook and pull through. Once when we have pulled through, we are going to do a chain up of one. And from here we have a bunch of side half double and side single crochet rows going all the way down. And we're just going to be putting one single crochet into each, so let's get this started. My first side row is a side half double crochet, so all I'm going to do is insert my hook into there and single crochet. And my next is a side single crochet, so we're going to insert my hook into there and single crochet into that as well. And we're just going to keep doing this going all the way down. I'll meet you guys back once we hit that base so that we can attach it into there together. So we've just made our way all the way down with our single crochet row and now we are going to attach it into the base. So how we're going to do that is find that next available loop that we have into that base. We're going to insert with a slip stitch, so just yarn over and pull through everything. Once we have that, our first single crochet row is nice and attached. So from here, we are going to slip stitch up the next two loops to start working on the main portion of our pant which is half double crochets. So we have just slip stitched up the next two loops. We will be flipping our work 
And from here, we're just going to put one half double crochet going all the way down until we don't have any more loops left. Once we reach the end, we're going to do a chain up of two, flip our work, and then bring it on back with more half double crochets. So let's just do the first half double crochet together. From here, we are going to prepare for a half double, insert our hook into that next available loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through three. And that's it. Go ahead and keep doing that going all the way down. Once we reach the end, bring it back, and then I'll meet you guys back just to show you guys how to connect it into the base just one more time, and then we'll move on from there. So we have just made it back down with our second half double crochet row, and we are back at the base. So I'm just going to show you guys how to connect it, and then we can move on. So all we're going to do is count up the next two available loops, and then insert your hook into that second with a slip stitch. And now this row that we just came up with is closed off. And what we're going to do from here is just like how we started off the previous row, which is slip stitch up the next two, flip our work, and then work our way back down, putting one half double into every stitch. And keep going back and forth like that until we hit our stitch marker. So we are back and we have just made our way all the way down until we hit our stitch marker. And I'm actually just one loop away from the stitch marker so I'm meeting you guys back so that we can just close this off with one row of single crochet. So we did our single crochet and did a bunch of our half double crochet rows and actually ended right at the stitch that we have right before our stitch marker and the stitch marker is into the two middle loops that we have. So just to make sure that we don't miss out on that middle stitch, I just did a slip stitch into there and then I'm going to go all the way down with a row of single crochets. just regular single crochet is going all the way down and once we make our way all the way down I'm going to do a chain up a one and cut and then I'm going to do the same thing that I just did here on the other side so I'll meet you guys back in the next clip just to remind you guys what to do dun, 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 dun. this one pant leg is all finished up and now that we have this one done we all know how the rest of this is going to work out because it's all going to be done exactly the same way so let's just refresh you guys and get the other side started and then once we get that one finished up we're going to be doing the same thing for the next two pieces and then I'll meet you guys back so that we can do the inner thigh portion. So all we're going to do is take this bottom corner, start off with a single crochet row and then from there just go back and forth with a bunch of half double crochet rows closing off with one single crochet row and then do the same thing for all the other sides and I will meet you guys back. So we are back and we have just finished up going in with both of our front panels and we have our backs already all finished up and I have taken the liberty of going in with one of the inner thigh portions for one of our pant legs. So we're going to do the next one together because they're going to be exactly the same. The first thing you guys are going to want to do is try on our pants and then insert our stitch markers right where the middle connector is going to be. And a quick tidbit, yes, these were supposed to have pockets, but it didn't quite work out with this design. So if you guys see the pocket slits, don't mind them. They are not there at the end. <laughs> and the place that I have inserted my stitch marker is, if we're counting from the bottom band, going all the way down, I inserted my stitch markers into the 28th loop, or that is 9 inches or 23 centimeters from our bottom band. And I did that for both the front and the back panel into the same loop. And from here, we're actually just going to work our way all the way down to the bottom of our pant leg, doing a combination of double crochets when we're closer to the top of our pants. And then we're going to bring it down to half double crochets and then singles down at the bottom because we do need this to taper just the slightest bit. So let's get that started together. So for this section, you guys get to choose where your double crochets, your half double crochets, and your single crochets are. It doesn't need to be exact. Just a little tip for you guys. What I like to do is keep my double crochets and my half double crochets around the same size. And then once when it comes to doing our single crochets, which that should go all the way down to the bottom, I like to keep that just a little bit longer so that it tapers in just a little bit more at the bottom. But what we're going to do is first insert our hook into the stitch that is right underneath where our stitch marker is. And then I will let you guys know my numbers. From this point all the way down to the bottom, I have a total of 69 stitches. So I'm just going to be going in with 20 double crochets, 20 half doubles, and then 29 single crochets. And then once we get to the bottom, we're just going to do a chain up of one, flip our work, and then go back in with the same amount of singles, half doubles, and doubles. And we're just going to keep going like that until we get a width that is wide enough to fit around our thigh. Because this is the main portion that we're measuring right now, that's why we're going in with double crochets up here. 
So I'm just going to go ahead and do that and then I'll meet you guys back once we're ready to seam everything up together and I'll also let you guys know the measurements and the amount of rows that I have as well. Alright, so we are back and we have just finished up going in with the inner thigh portion. And just to let you guys know, from where I first inserted my hook all the way down to where I ended, I ended up having a total of 9 rows, or that comes out to about 5 inches or 13 centimeters. But once when we have whatever length we need, now we can actually attach it to the other panel that we have for our pant leg so that we can finish this up, and then we'll go in with our cuff. So the easiest way to do this is just to sandwich them together and then we're going to seam it up just like how we've seamed up everything else so far. The only tip that I have for you guys is just to make sure that when you guys are sandwiching it together that this portion of the cable stitches, which is the underside, is actually flipped outwards so that our seam and the underside of the cable are all along the same side once we flip it right side out. So I have just inserted my stitch marker into the corner loop that we have into that inner thigh portion that we just did and then also into the loop that we have that is right underneath our stitch marker for our pant leg and now we're just going to seam it up and I did make sure that my under portion of the cable is faced right side up so just to do the first one together we're going to insert our yarn onto our hook and pull through once we have that do a chain up of one to secure and then just to do the first one we're going to insert our hook into the first available loop into the front panel and then also into the next available loop into the back panel. From there, we are going to single crochet. And go ahead and just keep doing this, going all the way down. I will meet you guys back at the end of this row so that we can go in with our cuff. So go ahead and grab your five millimeter hook. But if you guys are actually working your way up towards this way, do a chain up of one cut and that'll meet you guys at the bottom. All right, so we have just made our way all the way down with our seam for our pant leg. And now we're going to go in with the cuff. I did switch out my hook to my 5mm hook and from here we're just going to go into the row of single crochet along the bottom putting one single crochet into each of our side row stitches. So we're going to have a combination of side single crochets and side half double crochets then also some regular stitches as well because we're going to be at the bottom of the cable stitch section. But doesn't matter what loops we're going into we're just going to be putting one single crochet into each of those. So just to do the first one together we're going to do a chain of a one. And this first stitch that I have is going to be in my side single crochet row. So I'm just going to be putting one single crochet into there. And then go ahead and keep doing that going all the way around. Slip stitch into that chain up of one space that we just made for ourselves. And then I'll meet you guys back. So now that we've just made our way all the way around with our single crochet row, what we're going to do from here is go in with our cuff. So we're going to start off by making a chain the length that we want our cuff to be. And I want my cuff to be roughly two and a half inches or seven centimeters. So I'm going to start off by making a chain of 12. And once when we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain, do a chain up of one, and then into that chain that we blocked off or the second chain from our hook, we're going to go in with a slip stitch. Let's do the next one together. Into the next available loop that we have, we're going to insert, yarn over, and pull through everything. And we're just going to keep putting one slip stitch into every stitch that we have going all the way down our chain. And I'll meet you guys back once when we make our way all the way down to the base so that we can slip stitch it into there as well. So we've just made our way all the way down with our slip stitch row. So what we're going to do from here is find the next available loop that we have into the base, which is this one right here. And we're going to slip stitch into there to close off this first row. And in order to work our way up to the next row, we're going to slip stitch into that next available loop flip our work and we're going to go in with a row of back loop slip stitches now. So let's do the first few together, but this is going to be very similar to how we did our waistband. So into this first back loop, we're going to insert, yarn over, and pull through everything. And keep doing that, going all the way down. Once we hit the end, we're going to do a chain up of one, flip our work, and then bring it back down. Once we get down to the base, we're going to slip stitch it into the base the same way that we just did. And we're just going to keep doing that going all the way around until we don't have any more loops left. And that'll meet you guys back just so we can really quickly seam it all up together. Beautiful. So we have just made our way all the way down, putting one row of back loop slip stitches into every stitch that we had. And now that we don't have any more left to go into, what we're going to do is just seam this up. Only tip that I have for you guys is just make sure that our seams are all facing the same direction. And then we're just going to do the first one together because it's all the same. So as you guys can see, I have inserted my hook into the two corner loops that I had into the front panel and into the back panel. And from here, all I'm going to do is yarn over and pull through. Once when we have pulled through, what we're going to be doing is inserting our hook into the first available loop we have into the front panel. And then also into the next available loop that we have going into that back panel. And then we're going to single crochet. 
and just keep doing this going all the way down once we make our way down to the end do a chain up of one and cut and then the same thing that we just did over here do the same thing on the other pant leg and then i'll meet you guys back so that we can seam up the middle connector together all right so we have just finished up going in with our cuffs along both sides of our pant legs and now we are ready to seam this portion up so that this is actually wearable so what we're going to do is make sure that everything is flipped wrong side out and then once we have that we are going to go back to our six millimeter hook and then we're first going to be inserting our six millimeter hook into the two stitches that we have into the base that one of our pant legs is going into and the other so as you guys can see this is one this is two we're just going to insert our hook into there insert our yarn onto our hook and pull through and from here we're just going to sandwich the two pieces and do a single crochet along both just like how we've been doing for pretty much everything else so far for our seams and then really quickly i will meet you guys back once we get to this portion right here it is going to be the same but it might be a smidge bit tricky because we are going into a bunch of side double crochets and we may have to grip it a little bit different so go ahead and just do your seam going all the way down until we hit this inner thigh portion and then i'll meet you guys back all right, so we have just made our way all the way down with our seam and now we are at our inner thigh portions so i'm just going to show you guys how i'm going to fold this and then i'll let you guys go on from there but all i'm going to do is actually just take my legs and then bend them back this way so that's a little bit easier to grip because this piece is a little heavy and then we're just going to make sure that we're sandwiching the front piece to the back piece and making sure that we're going in through the same side double crochet loops along both and since they are side double crochets we're going to be going in with two singles into each of those so all that is is into this first one that we have we're going to insert our hook into here we go this next one that we have we're going to insert our hook into there and put one single crochet and then we're going to be putting one more into that same side double crochet set of two but it should be easy since our first single crochet is already in there and there is two and then we're going to find our next side double crochet in the front next side double crochet in the back two single crochet into there and keep doing that going all the way down once we reach the let me flip this around once we reach this side over here we will continue to do this the same way that we did the front portion so just sandwich this together just like how we did the front portion and then when we are ready to close this off just make sure that we slip stitch it into the two stitches that we have into the base just like how we started this off do a chain up of one and then cut and now that we are all finished up with that, we are actually all done. The last thing that we have to do is just make a chain for our drawstring. And I just made a regular chain of 175 and I wove that into my waistband and I'm all done. Last thing we're gonna do is just weave in all of our ends. Now that we've woven in our ends, these are our cable stitch swatches all finished up. This one was a lot of fun to do. There's a lot of experimenting and I learned a lot and I can't wait to share what I've learned with y'all in future videos. There's a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. Enter this week's pattern giveaway by telling us how you and your best friend met. Good luck to everyone who enters. Also, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up because believe it or not, it really, really helps. And be sure to share us on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. Links down below. Link to our Etsy page is down there too if you want to buy this piece or any other piece on the channel. And be sure to favorite the shop so you don't miss out on new patterns and exclusive deals. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one.